Numerical Computation, Chapter 5, Video 6. We will now learn Newton's method. So our goal is still the same. Given a continuous function f of x, we want to find the root such that f of r equal to 0. So the main idea behind Newton's method is the following. So given an x k, your guess at step k, um, the next guess, x k plus 1, is achieved by approximating your function f as a linear function at x k. Then we all know a linear function is very easy to solve, and you solve it, and that solution will be the x k plus 1 your next approximation. So here is a um, geographic um, illustration of the method. Let's say um, this is your xk at that point, and your function evaluated at xk takes that value. So what I do is, at that point, I draw a tangent line to the curve of the graph of f, which is this thick line here. So this is called a linearization of f at xk. And then I take this straight line and I solve the equation represented by this line. So where the line intersects the x-axis, that will be my next guess, xk plus 1. Okay. So the idea is actually rather simple, okay? and that's actually how I remember that. I cannot remember the actual formula. Well, let's just derive this formula, and you see it takes only a moment. So... um. We know the slope of this line is f prime of k, and which shall also equal to the y distance here over the x distance. And the y distance here is f of xk, and the x distance here is xk minus xk plus 1, and that shall equal to f at xk prime. Okay, So rearrange terms here and solve this um, with respect to xk plus 1, and we immediately get the following. So x at k plus 1 equals to xk minus f of xk over f prime of xk. So we see that um, if we want the Newton's method to work well, um, one would need to assume that f prime very close to r, or exactly at r, shall be not zero, otherwise the denominator goes to zero and the method gets into trouble. Okay, so this will be the formula mm, that we'll be um, working with for a while, Newton's iteration. Now, before we um, take an example, let's build some connections. Let's first observe that Newton's method is actually a fixed-point iteration. Um, if we write our g to be x minus f of x over f prime of x, and then xk plus 1 equals to g at xk, that's exactly the Newton's iteration derived on the previous page. We'll now show that the fixed point for this iteration is actually a root for the function f. Let's say r is a fixed point, and assuming f prime at r is not equal to 0, and then r equals to gr, because it's a fixed point. And then plug in the expression of gr, I have r equals to gr in detail, and I see I can cancel the r's, and I get f of r over f prime of r equal to 0, and since f prime of r is not 0, this leads to the conclusion f r equal to 0. That is, the fixed point for this iteration is actually a root for the function f. We now will try to be convinced that not only is Newton's method a fixed point iteration, it is actually the optimal one, the best one. So we call the error analysis for fixed point iteration, and we know the convergence depends on g prime in a small neighborhood around the root. The smaller the value, the faster the convergence. So the method would be optimal if the g prime evaluated at r actually equals to zero, where r is the fixed point. Let's check if this is the case for Newton's method. 
So in Newton's method, when if we differentiate the g once um, using quotient rule for the quotient expression, and we see we'll have f prime square here over f prime square, that gives me negative 1, which will cancel the term 1. So actually this term cancels the 1. So I will have only negative, negative gives me actually positive, so that will be the only term left. Then evaluate g prime at r, what do I get? Will be exactly this expression, plugging x equal to r. Since f double f prime at r is not 0, and f of r is 0, and this expression equals to 0. So therefore, Newton's method is the best fixed point iteration. Okay, so um, next video we'll actually do a detailed um, convergence analysis and to see how fast Newton's iteration converges. Okay, so see you next time.